Hello, this is Mike with AutoDrop 3D. Right now I'm going to go in through and show you the WebCAD that we've integrated with the AutoDrop 3D server. It's pretty easy to use and it's fully open source. It's 100% written in JavaScript and it's been integrated into the system. I'm going to start off by creating a new model. And I'm going to call this my example. I'm going to click create here and it's going to open me up a blank modeling environment. So I'm going to start off with a plane. Now you always have to start off with a plane in most parametric modeling systems. And I'm going to select that plane and I'm going to sketch on it. Now this is going to be a really quick example. I'm going to go and I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to go and I'm going to set these two to be equal in length so I can use geometric constraints I'm going to lock that point to where it's at so that it stays put and I'm going to give this a length so I can set this to something like 25 now this is going to be in millimeters I'm going to save my sketch and I'm going to come over here and close it out and we can see our sketch in the 3D environment. Now if I come over here to the extrude command that's going to allow me to create an extrude. So I'm going to just hit OK on that <clears throat> and I'm going to go and put a couple of holes in here. So if I pick a face and I hit sketch, I can start sketching on that face. And in order to put it in a couple of holes, I'm just going to use the circle command. I'm going to drop a couple circles in there. I'm going to change my uh, layer to construction, which is going to allow me to draw some construction lines between things. These are lines that the the tool is going to ignore. I'm also going to draw two more lines, one on each side, and I'm going to use these to apply more geometric constraints. So what I can do now is I can select these two circles and I can tell them that I want them to be equal to one another. I can pick these two lines and I can also tell them that they're going to be equal to each other. Now, I can also pick these lines and tell them to all be horizontal. I'm going to pick them one at a time and hit that horizontal constraint. You can see all my sketch constraints showing up over here on the left. And if, as I hover over them, it shows me the relationships between different things. <clears throat> now, lastly, I'm going to pick this point and pick this line. I'm going to say point at center and I'm going to also say point on curve. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do point on curve and now I can adjust these two circles just by dragging them. Now I'm going to specify a distance between the two. I'm going to set this to 20 millimeters and I'm going to set a diameter on here or I'm sorry a radius to 5. So now I've completed my sketch. I can hit save and close out of the sketch. We can see that I have those two circles right there and I can use the cut command to make a hole through the object. Now I can go back in here and edit any of my previous sketches. So let's just say I don't like the size of those holes. I can hit this edit sketch button and I can find the hole size which is this value right here and I can change that to something like a radius of 3 and as long as I hit save and close that out and I'm just going to hit OK here you can see that the model is updated. Now I'm going to hit save 
So I save my model. And if I come up here to model properties, I can hit 3D print model. This is going to bring me into the web-based print queue. It's going to ask me whether or not I want support material and what my infill should be. And if I hit submit, it's going to slice that model on the web server and then show me a preview in the browser. It's going to take a couple moments to generate the preview. There we are. We can see that we have some support material in there. And we can see our object along with the raft down at the bottom. Now if I hit approve, that is now in line waiting for the printer. Thanks for watching.